It's Fetch for Cray Metal TV at High Voltage Festival in London, and I'm here with Heaven Spaceman. How are we doing, man? All good. good. Cheers, man. Very good. Well, very well. Cool. Yeah. Now you guys open up um, Classic Rod stage. That's right. Yeah. Just earlier, how was it? Awesome. Really, yeah, really happy with it. The sun was shining, so yeah, people nice the, day, the, yeah. it looked like a pretty decent crowd from where we were, and it was good to play a big stage and just get really into it. And it seemed to go down well. So yeah, we couldn't, couldn't, couldn't really, really, it went really quick, didn't it? The set yeah, well, was like just bang, bang, bang. Like we went on. We got, we got like a pretty pretty good kind of high energy set rehearsed up, six songs, get the job done, do you know what I mean? Put across as much Heaven's Basement in, six songs as we can, and I think we achieved it. And, you know, yeah. we're, as long as you enjoyed it and the fans enjoyed it, that's what matters, yeah, you know what I mean? That's what it's all yeah. about. Nice. For now, for the guys that haven't checked you out yet, you know, how would you describe your sound? I'd say, you know, it's, it's quite a mix of a lot of styles. I know a lot of bands say that, and it's kind of, you know, sometimes a cliche thing to say, but <laughs> all four of us have different influences that literally go into the part. And we all... come together and form hard rock. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're a hard rock band, you know, we've got the car. Nobody likes to be labeled to one label, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 yeah. we're divert, we're artists, man. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> musicians. Yeah. The car influences there, Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, Zeppelin, all, all the great English Queen. rock bands, Queen. And then, Good old music. Yeah, old, yeah. Yeah. old school British rock for the majority of it, and then Guns and Aerosmith. Smith, like, but everyone, everyone brings in other things as well into the pot, like you know, sit, sit in, yeah, sit in Bones, Pink Floyd fans. I'm a Ramstein fan. He likes some some crazy shit. And <laughs> <laughs> if you care to ask what the crazy shit is, um, um, you, can, you can, you know, we can edit it out. Um, no, we'll, we'll, no, we'll leave them. It's not like Lady Gaga or something, is it? Hey, L Lady Gaga's good. What about Amy Winehouse? I, I loved Amy. Oh, God, you uh, went there. Oh my days. I loved Amy Winehouse. I thought she was great. Uh, Tragic. Till yesterday. Uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Now, um, the last release, Unbreakable, the EP, you know, how was that going um, regarding that from press reviews and fans point? Yeah, on? well, it's, it seems to be received really strongly, yeah, I mean, we, Classic Basement, we got it, we recorded it like two weeks before, we did a tour, a headline tour in May, and we recorded it like two weeks before then, and the CDs turned up on our door the day of the tour, yeah. so we got them out, we managed to get them out on or about for our tour to everyone that was there and stuff, and it's been received really well, it was kind of, because Aaron's come into the band in the last six, seven months, Yeah. He was, he's, he's the singer, we wanted to get him out there, let all the fans kind of hear what we're about and kind of give them a, like some a taste of the new band before we release an album kind of and keep them keep them yeah, there. So what, what, do, what do you ask for in a rider then beer yeah a bit yeah. we get vodka as well nice. Haribo if there's some going and today we got some cider because it's the summer nice we got some cider you, you walk out in the sun you take your beer and then you drum a tattoo yeah why not <laughs> well that's what's meant to happen it's after, after a stop fight stop all this fighting <laughs> it's a beautiful day and we're enjoying seeing it. the disbandment of heaven's basin right now over beer <laughs> i think people have been seeing that for the last year this is the split this is the yeah. split <laughs> we did our we've peaked we did a good show and now we're splitting up the last ever gig <laughs> that's how underground we are nice we're so underground we don't even advertise gigs we don't even tell our fans you know what I mean? actually so yeah we don't we're not on the poster play a gig we're not on the poster nah. <laughs> we got added to it really late Everyone, so, I didn't know so we're not even on the poster gig, every gig we've done so far has been like a week or so's notice because like we started wow. the band up touring and then everyone's like, hey, do you want to come and play here? What about normal jobs? Like, do, do you... No, uh, <laughs> no, no. no. So we, we just make sure we're busy enough doing do music to... No. to Maintain know, ourselves. Not, to yeah. not have to work. A lot of bands do struggle with like normal jobs, you know, and taking time off, especially for touring and stuff, don't they? Yeah. yeah, taking time off is the enemy for us. Yeah, we've all, we've all done stuff, but it doesn't work for us. We've got, we've got to <laughs> keep busy. It's quite rare, actually, because we all had accidents as children and we got loads of compensation, so we just yeah. used that. Nice. And it's also and this is a, this, this is a fake leg. Only got it when you would turn 18. Yeah, just. Yeah, quite so an important part of our sound is all from the, all the collective injuries we sustained when we were young. Growing up, it's, it's really influenced our style of playing because. And you yeah, can't play very well. Yeah. <laughs> it's all back in tracks, yeah. I remember anything past oh, three seconds. Ah. It should be. Back in tracks are probably the improvement. We've got to bring the back in tracks. <laughs> well, yeah. And then we were in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, from the top of my head, I think you guys have done Sonosphere and Bloodstock and, and Hard Rock Hell. Yeah, yeah, we've done, we've done yeah, that. Yeah. And this. Stuck in 208, I think. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you played major festivals, you know. I mean, well, from yeah, your point of view, that's. Sort of down a bit. And you haven't been around for that great deal as well, you know. So it's got to be a great yeah, feeling. We're still, we're still getting, it, still still getting our top first top full album. This lineup, we've been going for about a month, two months. Really. Well, actually, wow. no, it's longer than that. Since February. Since like, yeah, well, then, well, what is it? Is it July? We started gigging in May. July now, yeah. So always May, yeah. We started gigging in May. So almost, not even half a year yet, so all is good. That's it, man. We certainly, you know. Shows off that he's getting somewhere, so yeah, good luck to you guys. And what, what's next after this? Album, really. album time. Yeah, we're going to try and get an album recorded this year now and get that out for spring. That's kind of the plan, but Evan's basement always, uh, you know, everything's last minute, everything goes sits up all the time in a good way, so we'll see. So go with the flow and see what happens. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, don't plan too much. Yeah. We, we won't say, yeah, we're doing an album. By then, <laughs> never done an album. By, by then, this is EPs. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be the EP kids. Yeah. We're really comfortable in that. 
that's it. Yeah, but you can knock out an EP quicker, isn't it? You know, four songs, that's all we need. Yeah, yeah. well, our EP is actually seven songs. <laughs> yeah, but that's a mini album then. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's not go for a round album every like, cool bands in like 60s and 70s only did albums and didn't do singles. We're going to be the opposite. We're literally going to write a song, release it, done. Forever. It may start a trend, you never know. Yeah. But each with full CD and packaging. Do you know yeah, what I mean? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But just a really, really. So it's a single, but it's an album. Yeah. yeah. Man. That's cool, oh, man. That's revolutionary. <laughs> right, yeah. pleasure to meet you guys. Thanks and, very um, much, man. We'll catch you, you um, me, somewhere and at a date sometime soon. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Take it easy, bro. Take care, guys. <laughs>